Welcome back to the Tarantula's Breeder Diary. This is episode two. And yes, this is not really anything special in this episode. This is just me doing the typical sling feeding as a breeder. The reason why I'm showing you this is because I want to show the boring side of things as well. I think Tarantula YouTubers, I think one of the biggest things they get wrong is that they only want to make things entertaining. But that's not the purpose of why I'm making these videos. What I'm aiming for is more than just entertainment. I'm actually trying to aim towards the realistic hobbyist type of lifestyle. You know, the everyday things such as feeding, dealing with feeders, dealing with molts and everything. Not just entertainment, because I think entertainment alone, I think it gives a wrong perception of the tarantula hobby. I understand that entertainment makes things more thrilling, but I feel like it cuts off from the most important part, which is the actual process of caring and raising a tarantula, not just having this awesome, exaggerated personality type video. So what I'm giving you is basically the realistic version of the tarantula hobby. I don't think it gets any more realistic than this and maybe Tom Warren, but yeah, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to aim for here. I'm not aiming for just entertainment alone, even though it makes for a great video. I'm aiming for realism, like the boring parts, just to show you guys all the stuff I have to deal with as a tarantula breeder. But on the upside, you get to see a bunch of tarantulas since I deal with breeding every so now and then. Mostly you're going to see slings though, not adults because it's it's quite a hassle to be honest. But the goal of this journey of this tarantulas breeder diary is for me going from being just a typical local tarantula breeder into something bigger. My goal or my checkpoint of all of this is to eventually open my own local tarantula business. At the moment, it seems very far-fetched, but I believe in due time, I will reach that checkpoint. But yes, but by watching my videos, you guys are already supporting everything I'm doing. The long-term goal is to change the hobby for the better, which is why I'm breeding so often and why I have so many slings I'm still keeping. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video and stay back and relax the rest of the video, I guess. Also, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you guys will continue watching this series as I hope it leads to somewhere or something big in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and with that, stay lax and laxo out.